I'm about to show you how to generate a whole month's worth of content ideas in just one hour. Yes, you heard me right, one hour. So now when you're self-employed, you learn quickly about working smarter, not harder. So if you're into saving time and who isn't, stick around. I'm Anna from DigiSpark Media and I've been working in digital marketing for over 20 years alongside working as a fire dancer, as you do. It's funny how some jobs just match. Now if that fills you with confidence, great. If not, well, maybe my twice weekly uploads will change your mind. Hit subscribe if you fancy a double weekly dose of marketing wisdom. Now I'm going to add a timer to the video because, well, let's be honest, a little bit of pressure never hurt anyone. Right, let's click off the first 10 minutes by diving into the latest social media trends. Now we all know trends come and go faster than the British sunshine does. So it is crucial to stay on top of them. You wanna pick five trends that you feel like you could actually use this month. Now the idea here is to find trends that fit your niche. Now don't just copy them blindly. Try and find something that feels authentic to you. It's all about making it your own. If your morning caffeine hasn't kicked in yet, that is where ChatGPT can help just copy the idea and ask to convert it into ideas in your niche. On a quick tip, TikTok search bar is your best friend right now. Just type in trend alerts and use the filter feature to find the latest trends. It's like Googling, why is TikTok so addictive, but more productive. Also, TikTok seems to be way more advanced right now to Instagram and Facebook, and whatever blows up on TikTok soon finds its way over to other social media platforms. So it's a great place to start. Right, 10 minutes down, 50 to go. So for the next 10 minutes, we are going to delve into niche specific trends. Now, this isn't the time to be generic. If your niche is, say, gymnastics, you're not gonna search for cake recipes, are you? Head back to TikTok, type in keywords related to your niche, something like gymnastics drills or flexibility training, and then use the filters to see the most popular content this week or month. This is where you can start to see what is working for others in your industry. Think of it as a way to borrow some inspiration, but in a completely respectable way. You'll come away with another five content ideas here and if that doesn't get your creative juices flowing, then I don't know what will. So that's 20 minutes gone, 40 left. I'd say it's time for a quick cuppa, but we're on the clock here. Ah, there's always time for a quick cuppa. Right, next up, let's figure out what people are actually searching for in your industry. Because let's face it, you could produce the best content in the world, but if no one's searching for it, you might as well be shouting into the void. Now, TikTok is really handy for this too. When you search for a keyword, scroll down a bit until you see other search for. It's like peeking at somebody else's notes, but completely above board. You can also use a site called answerthepublic.com. Now type in a phrase related to your niche, like beginner yoga, and it will give you all sorts of questions people are asking. Pick a few and create content that answers these burning questions. People love being spoon-fed answers, especially when it saves them the effort of actually thinking too hard themselves. We all need to save time. 30 minutes gone and we have got 16 ideas already. Not too shabby, right? Right, so for the next 20 minutes, we are going to engage in something I call strategic scrolling. Yes, it's a thing, and no, it's not just an excuse to waste time on Instagram. The idea here is to look at accounts outside of your niche and figure out why you follow them in the first place, what makes you stop scrolling and actually pay attention to that particular post. I would hazard a guess that cat videos might be high on that list. There's no shame there, but take notes on what grabs your attention and save posts that actually inspire you. Now, these are the things that you can later adapt to suit your content. For example, I once came across a post from a travel blogger titled Top 5 Destinations for a Digital Detox. Now, it was really clever and engaging, so I adapted the concept for a fitness channel that I help, turning it into top five exercises for a digital detox. Now, the point is, inspiration is everywhere, even in places that you wouldn't normally look. 50 minutes gone and I'm not sure about you, but I could use a biscuit right now. So for the final 10 minutes, Let's do a little bit of competitor analysis. Now the idea is to look at other accounts in your niche, preferably ones that are a lot bigger than yours. So it's not about copying them, it's about learning what works and what doesn't. Scroll through their content, see what's doing well, and use that as inspiration for your own stuff. Just remember to put your own spin on it. And if you really want to be thorough, read through the comments on their posts. People love to ask questions and those questions can be gold dust for your content ideas. 
bing, 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 bing. And there you have it, 24 content ideas in just one hour. Now, if you've made it this far, well done. You are officially a content planning pro. Do me a favor and comment challenge accepted below so that I know that you have managed to stick it out to the end. If you found this useful, make sure you give it a like. It really helps the channel. And if you're still hungry for more tips, check out this next video, which is going to be up here or up there. I'll see you next time, assuming that you've hit that subscribe button, of course. Bye-bye. Oh, and let me know what you think about my hair.